Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion, bless God. All right, so this morning, our morning reading will be coming from the book of Numbers, chapter 23 and verse 19. But of course, we know this week we're discussing developing our trust in the Lord, all right? We have been discussing that if you're going to avoid burnout in these last days, you must learn how to trust in God, develop your trust in the Lord. And don't trust him with a few parts of your life, but trust him with your whole life, every area of your life, bless God. And so yesterday we said, if you're going to develop your trust in the Lord, you must know him because it's hard to trust and depend on someone you don't know. So you must get to know the character of the Lord and get to know his, uh, his love and his, his faithfulness and, his, and that he is trustworthy, my Lord. And we saw that yesterday. We saw that said that God is faithful, he's reliable, he's trustworthy, and therefore ever true to his promise. And he can be depended on, bless God. So we just encourage everyone as we share it, get to know him. Get to know him, bless God, so you can trust him, my God, all right? So let's read Numbers 23 and verse 19. It says, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he said, and shall he not do it? Or has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Amplify says, God is not a man that he should tell or act a lie, my Lord. New Living Translation says, God is not a man, so he does not lie. He is not human, so he does not change his mind. Has he ever spoken and failed to act? Has he ever promised and not carried it through? All right? Hear it. God is not a man. Hear it. Period. <laughs> He's not a man, bless God. Uh, cause why? Because man can disappoint. Man can lie. Man can let you down. Man can make a promise and never come through. But not God. All right? If he said it, he will do it. If he's spoken it, he will make it good. If he promised it, he will always come through, right? As we share, God is trustworthy, all right? Don't put him in the same boat as man or as your uncle or your daddy, your, uh, your baby mama, or your baby daddy, oh my God, or anyone, any of your politicians, uh, whoever. God is not a man. Don't you put him in that boat, my God. Don't think that God's going to say one thing and then do something completely different. Don't think that God's going to make you a promise and, the, and don't come through. No, that, that's the wrong. No, that's not. That's man. But God is not a man, my God. But again, God is faithful. He is reliable. He is trustworthy. And therefore, he can be depended on. Amen. Stop thinking that God is a man and that God is going to fail you and that God's not going to do what he promised. No, you... you you talking about uh, <laughs> your uncle? No, <laughs> no we talking about God. Bless God. And God said, "If I promise it, I'm gonna carry it through." Amen. Amen. Bless God. So let's go ahead and take communion this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day and another opportunity you've given unto us, Father, to come before your table to commune with you and with one another. And for that, we say thank you, Lord Jesus, and we take the bread right now which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, everything you did was for us, and we do this in remembrance of you. We discern your body right now, for you was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God. You bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, the chastisement for our peace and our complete wholeness. Complete wholeness was upon you, Lord Jesus, and with and by your stripes we were healed, therefore we are healed. We love you this morning, Lord Jesus. Thank you for being trustworthy. We take the bread right now and we eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. And we take the cup. The cup of the blessing. The blood of Jesus. The blood of the new covenant. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy and blameless, the righteousness of God without fault, without blame, in love. All, all, all of our sins forgiven, past, present, and future sins, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never be to be discussed again. And for that, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. We take the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus, we drink all of it. 
saying thank you, Jesus. All right. So I encourage you to get to know him. Get to know him. That he's not a man. He's not going to disappoint you. He's not going to let you down. He's not going to make a promise and never come through. Amen. Amen. So let's go and get our confession on this morning. The authority of believer confession. It says, I am in Christ Jesus and I have been given dominion, power and authority over the devil and his kingdom. I have been raised up by Christ to sit with him in heavenly places far above all principalities and powers. I will use my authority and exercise my dominion on today. I take authority over all demonic activity, over every plot and every plan of the devil. I bind it in the name of Jesus and I decree it will not prosper. It will not come to pass in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Bless God. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day. All you have in store for each and every one of us, Father, I shout grace, grace right now, Father, to all that's watching, Father. I thank you, Father, every need of every household is men in full, with abundance of more than enough, Father. I pray for all those who need healing, who need health, who need strength in their bodies. I decree, Father, you are the Lord our God, the healer of us, and you heal them all. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. And I speak peace to every household, Father. We bind the spirit of strife and division and discord. And we lose unity and oneness. Everybody working together, flowing together in the name of Jesus. Hey, God bless you guys. Thank you for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. And we pray to each and every one of you have a great day, a blessed day in God's presence. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. Have a good one.